Yeah. Sorry. Hi guys, my name is Adam. Uh, I did a deck profile a little while ago for Matthew. This time I'm showing Giant Ballpark Tenyi. Uh, I was playing Giant Ballpark a while ago. The deck was really, really fun, but it lacked a lot. Uh, this build helps facilitate, it's still a blind second deck that wants to kill your opponent, but this facilitates more play outside of, oh, I don't have Giant Ballpark, so I lose. Uh, so without further ado, we'll get into the cards. Yep. Yeah. Uh, change the camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> change the angle. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, so first of all, we have three insect knight. Yeah. Uh, three squatter. These are the only insects you play now. You don't play the resonant insect. Go so this is or, basically two thousand beta. Yeah. This is literally. This is just what you spam out with giant ballparks. Go for the OTK if you have it. Okay. Uh, so they're the vanilla bugs that you play for the giant ballpark. Okay. Uh, I was still blind second, so I played one tank for tops, one mana. Um, this is really cool because if you have Vessel, you send this to the graveyard and add a 10 to hand, and then this can be special summoned off the Shaman instead of you having to do like the Destruido Yazzie thing. Ah. Uh, and then you just like kill your opponent with that. Uh, but to go with it anyway, we have the two Destruido. Okay. So that's that. Uh, then we have the 10 cards themselves. So we have one Nahata. Uh, this is whenever a battle it, whenever a battle happens between your opponent's monster and your non-effect monster, yep. you can banish this and the attacking monster lose 1500. So ah, because the there's no monsters in it's, it. It's pretty bad. It's just a name. That's the only real reason why you play it. Same as Mapura. Mapura is if your opponent targets a non-effect monster you control with anything, you can banish this to negate and destroy it. That doesn't really come up because no one's really targeting non-effect monsters anymore. Okay. You play two Sahada. This uh, Safana, this one's really, really good. If your non-effect monster is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this, special summon it back, and then pop a card your opponent controls. Ooh. So they're the bad ones. Uh, the good ones is that we have three Ashuna. Um, this is just really, really good. It banishes to add back a banished uh, Tenyu. Yeah. Um, but then it locks you into Worms for the rest of the turn. Oh, okay, see. So gotta be a little bit careful. It's kind of situational for the second effect. It's mainly to add back uh, this. Oh. Play through the shooter. It's the best ten you. Uh, this card's insane. It pops. It, it bounces back any card. It's like how this deck outs Winder and stuff like that. If you open this um, and like an insect or anything, or if you can get to the link one, you literally go shooter effect, banish, spin the when uh, Winder or whatever. Uh, then the next best one is Adara. Uh, Adara is really really good. Um, Sorry, no. Adara adds back the banished. This one's special from deck. Right. Sorry, I, I'm still a bit shaky with this deck. So, uh, it's okay. It's a. It's ten years, you know. No, no one knows what they do. Even the, even the people that play them. That's the ten years that I play. Okay. Quite a big lineup with ten years. Yeah, they're, they're super super good. Uh, this is like a test. I really like the idea. I'm playing three lava golem in the main. Oh, but so do you like, need a normal summon for this deck? No, because these. Uh, so all the ten years special summon if you don't control monsters. Oh. So you don't necessarily need your normal summon. Uh, more and more people are ending on so the reason for this over sphere mode is more and more people are ending on two instead of three so this oh. has more utility even if people end on two uh, end on three this is sometimes better uh, the really cool thing with this that you can do is you can give your opponent a lava golem with a shooter it back to your hand so you always have a lava golem oh. so that makes some really interesting game states because that means they want to commit Yes, they either have to like really, really like hard commit knowing you have a lava golem in hand, or uh, they just end on one monster which you just kill them through a lot of the time anyway. Uh, now for spells, we are playing. Just sort it out. So field spell wise, we're playing three ballparks, one set rotation, and one, one terraforming, and then the set rotation target's mine. Uh, a lot of the time you just give this to your opponent and yep. kill them with a giant ball part. If not, this is a really good contingency if you're in a bad spot. Yep. And what does giant ball park do? Because so Giant ball park is whenever an attack is declared, but if anyone would take battle damage, you can make them not take battle damage, and then you can send an insect from your deck to the graveyard. If it's a non-effect monster, you can special summon that, plus any number of copies of that card from your deck. 
Oh. So like you you and the big thing with this is it's end of damage count. So oh. like your opponent doesn't have a lot that they can do in response to it. Oh. Um, say for for example, I have Monk of the Ten Years. Yeah. I attack over some. I attack into something. I would take damage. I use Giant Ball Perfect. I don't take damage. My Monk dies, and I summon three of the two K beaters. Ooh. <laughs> but that's that's the field spell lineup that I'm playing. Playing one Avarice, one one for one. Um, Adara's a level one. It's an Earth and it's a Tuner. All the bugs are Earth, so you can like make Nat Beast super easy in this deck. Oh. I'm playing two Twin Twisters. Uh, I was playing three for a while, but there's not a lot of back row decks, not at this locals anyway, so two's okay. And I want to try and like keep the deck kind of trim. I'm playing three Call of the Greys because hand traps really suck against this. Yes and no. So like Giant Ballpark can't be ashed because it's at the end of the damage step. But the main reason why this is here is because if this gets ashed, it sucks. Ah. This card is insane. This card is absolutely insane. It's a rotor it, and a full wish in one yeah, card. Yeah, it's, it's, it, in a vacuum it's nuts, but it's kind of for a weird arch type. Basically, if you control a non-effect monster, you send a worm from the deck to the graveyard, and then... So, you can send a worm from the deck to the graveyard, then if you control a non-effect monster, you can then add one from your deck to your hand. So the thing with this, a lot of the time I do, is I activate this, I send Mare to the graveyard and add the shooter to hand. That's usually... If your opponent doesn't have much disruption, that's usually enough just to kill your opponent. Because if you shoot a back their card, use the Mare Mare to make Boral Sword. Cool. Uh, that's the main deck done. Okay. So, time for the extra deck. Uh, I play three Monk. It's kind of needed. Like, yeah. you, you go through them so quickly. And you play one Link Karibo uh, for the Mare Mare tokens, or sometimes the Adara if that comes up. Uh, Link 1s. Link 2s, I'm playing one Shaman. This card's really, really good. Uh, you discard a card to special back a worm from the graveyard, so Mare Mare or like the Link 3 or the Link 1 or any yeah. main deck tenue. Um, and then if a battle is, uh, if a battle happens between a non-effect monster, you can pop the card. That is, that is Hax. Ah. And I play one Mr. Radiant because Mare Mare. <laughs> uh, Link 3, I play one of this guy, he's just big and he's, he's, he's fine. I make it probably like one out of every five games, if that. Okay. Uh, Draco Masters, really, really good. Nice arrows. And it has uh, an awesome effect. Yeah, it has a really, really good effect. Can't really destroy a battle sometimes. If, if you can't make Avramax, just ending on this sometimes saves you because they can't kill it by battle. And the second effect's really, really good because it pops cards. Uh, Link Force, we are playing Avramax, which is my panic button if I'm going first and I can't end on anything nuts. <laughs> The Borrow Sword because I'm playing Mare Mare, so I like killing my opponent. <laughs> I play because I spam out level fours. I'm playing Abyss Dweller and Tornado Dragon. Yeah. This used to be against Orcus, now it's kind of against Shadol. Or, uh, or, or Salads. Or Salad. This is just good against like macro decks. Yeah, I use that in the side. Uh, and then Synchros, because Adara is a tuner, uh, we're playing one Draco uh, Berserker. It's really, really good. Uh, uh, one Nat Beast. Yep. It just wins certain matchups. Um, and then we're playing one Yazi. Oh my, that's a nice copy. And then one Baxi as well. Ah. Baxi is really good. Um, Ad Adara and the Shooter makes Baxia, and then you spin two cards your opponent controls. Okay. You then use the second effect to pop itself and bring back the Shooter, go into Monk and carry on doing your plays for the OTK. Yeah. Uh, so that's the main deck. Um, let's do side. <laughs> side deck I'm still a bit unsure on. Cause it, it looks really, really weird, but I've tested a lot and it seems fine. So I'm playing one Retaliating C. Ooh. Uh, this is really cool. So if you're against Shadol or Invoked or any of the fusion decks, yep. as long as your opponent doesn't have Meltdown, if they activate Shadol Fusion, you can special this, and then while this is on the field, anything sent to Graveyard is banished. So like they activate Shadow Fusion, you chain C, you special C, Shadow Fusion triggers, they send stuff to the banished pile so it doesn't trigger their effects. Oh, that's really really good. That's why you use it. Yeah. And then it's, I've probably it's a, got I've probably got some at home as common. It, it's a pretty good one. Um, this is like a really weird lineup, but I'm playing one Gamer CL, one Gadala and one Kimongus. Okay. Uh, and the reason why I'm playing these is because Kaiju's are good, but I'm also side decking three slumbers. Okay. Um, if people don't have mass prevention of destruction, like slumber can just win games on its own. And then because I hate salads, the Biro, yeah. just a good card. 
Uh, I was testing with a lot of hand traps. I was testing with Ash, Droll, Lapsia, Skullmeister. I um, found out just an effect failure is good. <coughs> Not being once per turn is nice. And it's just an effect failure. And the last two cards just mind control because yeah. it, it's meant to be Imperial Order and Red Reboot. But I don't have them with me today, so I'm just playing these. That's perfectly fine. But yeah, that's the deck profile. All right then. Um, Any shout out? So I've tested with the deck quite a lot, which is really weird because it's like a meme deck. <laughs> but uh, the deck's really, really good. It can, it can do some really cute plays that people don't expect. Baxi is super good at the moment for some reason. <coughs> shout out. Always want to shout out Matthew for Thank the you. Head Ice Yu Gi Oh! Lit China. Man pulled a Starlight Rose last week <laughs> like it was nothing. <laughs> Other shout outs, I want to shout out the boys, so Corey, Ashley, Louis, Alex, Miles, all the guys that are top deck in, so our locals is no longer a deep treat, they've separated and ran their own franchise now, so they're now called top deck in, if you're in the area I highly suggest you check them out, they're amazing, Kieran, Vince, Brandon, Alfie, Shay, they're all amazing guys, really really good, we're hoping for another regional, probably not this season, but next season as well, so fingers crossed. Yep. That's all from me. Thank you. Until next time.